Guys, around 59% of the adults in the US admitted to live paycheck to paycheck in 2019. And I will be honest, I was living paycheck to paycheck in my early 20s. And I remember that back in the days I, I wanted to be rich someday, but I never made a plan for it. I just thought that someday I would make huge amount of money somehow and I would become rich. So I never thought that someday I could become rich by living like I'm poor. But I want to share with you some moments that happened to me that changed my mindset about how I manage my money. So when I was 24 or 25, someday I was with two friends at my job and all us three were working for the same exact job with the same income and for the same amount of time and this was for all of three the first serious job if you want and by the way it was not a high income job we were paid like 52 grand per year and i remember this moment we're all three together in my friend's office and he's checking at his online banking and just at this moment i already knew something was wrong with me because at these times I was never looking at this. So we're there and Max tells me something like, hey, wanna see what 36 grand looks like? So I was there, how can you have 36 grand? Well, we're doing the exact same stuff since we're both 20. How, how can you have 36 grand? I'm like, I'm here and I got a grand or two in my bank account. And I thought I was doing good at this time because I had no debt and I had some over money in my bank account. At this moment, Max said to me, 36 grand isn't nice. You want to know what is nice? And he said, McNeil, show him your bank account. And this guy, McNeil, he was there and he had 160 grand in his bank account with the same job, the same income that I've been doing for a couple of years. And then Max told me, this guy never spent a penny. So I remember that I was there and I was shocked. Like I was thinking about all the shit that I've ever bought and all the things that I did with my money and, and I just wanted my money back or let's say 75% of it so I can keep all the things that provided me with memories and happiness. But for most of the stuff I just I just wanted my money back. So that was a moment that marked my memory and it got me closer to the switch that I made to financial minimalism. So maybe this video can have the same impact on you that this event had on me. And if that's the case, well, that's nice. So guys, I'm done with this one. And if you want to watch some other stuff that I did about managing personal finance or investing in real estate or stocks, I'm going to put some links right there. And these are going to be what YouTube thinks you would like the most out of my other videos. So guys, if you want to watch them, that's nice. If you don't, that's nice. And maybe I see you in the next one.